Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Today we are toasting all of the 86th Annual Academy Awards winners and nominees. I think I have a huge list of very exciting films to catch over the coming weeks. It's a little bit embarrassing. I only saw about three or four of them before Sunday night's big event, but it's still a lot of fun and it's nice to plan out future viewing experiences when you know you're going to spend your time watching quality productions. But we're here celebrating a whole lot more than just movies tonight. We're going to tell you all about it on Go. An obsession for film is good for business, an uncertain future for the Nanaimo Recycling Exchange and My Symphony in Education and Music. Well, you know that um, selfies have have made it into the mainstream when it's tweeted and focused on at the Academy Awards. It's a whole lot of fun here at Cottonwood Golf Club. We are celebrating, not the Oscars, well, a little bit of that, but we're actually celebrating more than a million dollars raised for juvenile diabetes research here on Vancouver Island. That's our theme of our celebration tonight. Now, you might call it an obsession, someone who has almost every Hollywood title and plot and director and actor and how the Oscars work inside and out and his every annual vacation is with the Toronto International Film Festival. Yeah, that's a little bit obsessive, but for Clint Thornley, it's just good business. Here's Ray Adam LaPlante. Quite a character, and we're always impressed with Clint's knowledge of Hollywood. How appropriate that we are here then celebrating not only the Oscars, but more importantly, the million dollars plus that has been raised in the past six years for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation, Vancouver Island chapter. Lee Audgers has been involved for quite a while now, and there's a personal reason behind it. Uh, yes, when I was a child, my sister, who's uh, four years older than me, she was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic at age 6. And then myself, I was also diagnosed at age 17. And people might think that, oh, diabetes, that's a lifestyle choice. You need to start making some smarter, healthier dietary decisions. But with type 1, that's not the case. Yeah, there is a distinction. There's type 1 and type 2. Type 2 would be 90% of uh, diabetics out there are type 2. And quite frequently... Uh, that's due, you know, you see obesity challenges with uh, often with type 2 diabetes. Type 1, what happens, uh, it's an autoimmune disease where uh, the cells get attacked, your beta cells get attacked and insulin just is not produced. Uh, so therefore insulin has to be injected into the bloodstream uh, in order to balance your blood sugar levels. And that's something that you deal with on a daily basis? Yes, it uh, comes with its challenges certainly, but yeah, you, you, know, you get used to living with diabetes, which is certainly a lot better than the alternative, right? Mm -hmm. And here we are getting a little bit heavy because we're here celebrating. There's a, a party going on here, not only for the 86th Annual Academy Awards, but what else are we celebrating tonight? Uh, again, we're celebrating raising in the, the regional island chapter for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. We've raised over a a million dollars in six years of having our annual gala at the Tynamara. So uh, as a way to say thank you to our major supporters over the years, we put on, we're hosting this evening uh, just as a complimentary, complimentary night to come out and have a good time. And now it's not, the money isn't going to go to buy, buy people drugs to maintain their disease. It's to find a cure and, and to do research, and that stays right here on Vancouver Island as well. Yeah, the JDRF, we would love to be out of business. We're just here to develop a cure for type 1 diabetes and also, you know, uh, beyond developing a cure, also help better control diabetes. But again, the, the number one goal is obviously to cure the disease. Yeah. Why is there so much support? There's a lot of people affected by this, I guess? Uh, the key to our success here is Jackie Casey. <laughs> I, I swear, she, the gala in the, the Mid-Island region was her baby. Uh, these are a lot of loyal friends, you know, I, I don't know if you know the Casey story, but two of her children are stricken with the disease as well. 
and uh, she just has so much passion and outreach into the community that this has just been such a huge success. I think she's pretty humble too because when I asked her who we should be speaking to tonight, she mentioned you and she mentioned Jake and she mentioned a few other people on the board and she never once said you could talk to me. It's all her. I don't do anything. I just smile. I don't believe that. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. We're going to be back with more from a celebration not only for the 86th Annual Academy Awards but also for the success and support in raising funds for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation Vancouver Island chapter. We'll be back with more on all of that after a short break. Still to come, the Nanaimo Recycling Exchange facing closure, a generation gap bridged online, and kids on stage with the Vancouver Island Symphony. Did you know that many of our native plants here on the island are also edible? For example, the Mahonia or Oregon grape, and the Salal, both have edible, delicious berries. We have elderberry, salmonberry, and thimbleberry. And that's just to name a few. We're here at Cottonwood Golf Club in Cedar, Yellow Point, South Nanaimo. And there are some events that are worth noting coming up uh, in the next few months, all to raise money for juvenile diabetes research. First of all, May 24th, it's the Shots for Kids right here at Cottonwood Golf Club in June. There's a walk for the cure that takes place. And then finally for this year, and I'm sure there's lots of other side events that take place. The first weekend in November, it's the Gala of Hope that will take place at Tynamar. Our resort. If you'd like information on all those events and other info on juvenile diabetes, the place to go www.jdfrrf.ca. We're going to throw things over now to Kelly Robinson. The Nanaimo Recycling Exchange is questioning its future. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Earlier in the program, when I asked Lee Augers why, how are you so successful in raising funds for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation here on Vancouver Island, he had one word with no hesitation. That was Jackie Casey. <laughs> You've dedicated so much to this cause. Why? Well, first of all, both of my sons suffer from type 1. Um, but we have a family history. Many of my relatives in England um, have type 1 diabetes and when my sons were diagnosed, I knew that I had to make a difference. I don't think anyone who doesn't have to deal with it every day can really understand and appreciate how it impacts and affects a life. I was going to interview your son, Jake, earlier and he can't be here. That's right. Um, he wears an insulin pump and the insulin pump delivers insulin to his, his blood. Um, and uh, the pump failed and his sight fell out and he had to go home and fix it. So he should be coming back but that takes quite some time to actually take the needle out and then put it back in and reset the pump and there's quite a lot of maintenance. So we know that you're a fundraising force. We know that you're very involved with the world of film with yes. Spotlight Academy. Yes. I want to get to know the parent. As a mom, when your children are diagnosed, I can't imagine anything scarier. Well, I think that um, I truly believe that you know this is this is this is my journey. This is this is what I was truly meant to do. I mean, um, living in the fast lane, as we call it, and being a part of the, one, this wonderful film industry—that's all glamorous and it's all wonderful. But at the end of the day, I have two children that I'm a mother to, and um, when you when you realize that your children suffer with a condition that needs maintenance and help and um, just a, a general sense of um, that I need to be there for them um, and that that to me means more than anything is that I need to be there for them in whatever way that I can and any any other family that lives with um, any disease knows and understands that uh, you have a uh, you know you just have this sense of being you just have to do it you do what you have to do more yes. than what you knew, thought you were capable of in the moment a million dollars raised in the past six years more to go but you're hopeful for a cure that this is all going to come to a positive end well um, I guess the most exciting news is is that the trials for type 1 diabetes are now taking the clinical trials that which which are now presenting people that are living insulin free have now moved from Alberta to BC so the clinical trials of people that are now going to be able to live insulin free are now here 
in British Columbia, and that is phenomenal news. So all of the money that we've raised, that is testimony to the work that the people of Nanaimo have contributed, because now they're here, and we're actually going to see evidence of, of, uh, of the fundraising that we've done, and I am so excited. We're going to tell you about some of the ways you can participate in upcoming fundraisers and be a part of this wonderful community for a very hopeful and important cause later on this edition of Go Island. We're throwing things down to Victoria now. Dan Kahn is looking into what the internet means to senior citizens. You never know how or where children will get their inspiration to perhaps appear in years to come on stage at the Academy Awards. Maybe it's right here in Nanaimo at the Port Theatre. All grade students, all grade four students in districts 68, 71, and 72 can get a taste for the symphony in a brand new education program from the Vancouver Island Symphony Orchestra. And it's got a, a lot of levels to it, a lot of layers. One of those layers is one of our favorite children's entertainers, Rick Scott. Here with more is Jocelyn Matley. And who knows, one day maybe some of those students will be sitting in the Oscar Orchestra. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. It's been a fun time here tonight at the Cottonwood Golf Club participating in the 86th Annual Academy Awards. I wouldn't have guessed that American Hustle would have been shut out. I haven't yet seen 12 Years a Slave, of course, going home with Best Picture. It's on my list now, although I'm a little bit scared to watch that movie. I'm sure it's going to be very uncomfortable. Congratulations. Congratulations to Gravity taking home six of seven possible awards and I'm sure all of this is all online and you already know what I'm talking about. What you don't know is how hard the people behind the scenes work to raise money over a million dollars over the past six years for Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation here on Vancouver Island for ways that you can participate. Go online www.jdrf.com. Thanks for watching Go Island. Oh, and that tweet that broke, the whole Twitter broke down, that was our tweet, right? You can follow us on Twitter, ShawTV underscore CVI. <laughs>